Okay, it is National Wildlife Week, and the theme this year is learning to live in harmony with wildlife and protect our wild neighbors. Yeah, so maybe try to create a wildlife habitat in your backyard or on your balcony of your apartment. That's cool. Peter Groves and David Mizajewski have advice on that and other helpful tips that can help you protect the wildlife. David and Peter, we are so happy to have you here on Great Day Washington. It is National Wildlife Week. David, what is the focus this year? What are you hoping for? Well, so National Wildlife Week is a celebration of wildlife that the National Wildlife Federation has been doing for decades. And this year, the whole theme is called Keep It Wild. And what we're trying to do is encourage people to get outside and explore America's big backyard. There's so many cool wildlife species that are all around us. Whether you go out you know, hiking in a national park or you just go for a walk in your neighborhood, there's so much to see. And that's really what we're hoping folks will do. It's a great way to get connected to nature and really get involved in the conservation efforts that the National Wildlife Federation and our partner this year, Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom, are really trying to promote. Peter, I always it love is. when I am in like Rock Creek Parkway here in the middle of the city and I see a deer or something, but there's got to be wildlife everywhere. Why is it important that we go out and connect with it? Oh, and that is such an important part of the message is that wildlife in some places and even in not so rural areas are starting to have a resurgence. And it's important that we spend time, have sort of a balance in our lives. Research has shown that, that we need the time in nature is not just good for us physically to stay fit, but also mentally to spend yeah. time in nature. So it's a, it's a perfect synergy for us to align with National Wildlife Federation because the message is simply do something nearby. You can turn your backyard into habitat. Um, you can help save wildlife by planting bushes and shrubs and plants that create pollen that may help butterflies. And then the best news of all is that starting in January, Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom is producing a new series called Protecting the Wild that I'll be hosting. And so launching in January, we'll have 10 brand new shows about successful reintroduction programs of wildlife. It's really cool. That is amazing. I always love, it never gets old to see the deer running in my backyard. Yeah. Or yesterday there was a bunny hopping. Like, and then you just take five minutes to kind of watch them walk around and it is very mentally <laughs> just calming. But David, what if like somebody doesn't have a big backyard in the city <laughs> and just has maybe a balcony? Yeah, I mean, like I said a second ago, it's it's true that nature is all around us, right? So you might live in a rural area and have a lot of, you know, kind of wild nature around you. But even if you live in the middle of the city, all it takes is to go outside and observe. And you're going to start seeing birds. You're going to start seeing those butterflies. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you're in a situation where you have a balcony or maybe access to a deck or a rooftop and you want to plant something like a butterfly garden, well, guess what? You can do that right in containers. And the National Wildlife Week website, which is nwf.org slash National Wildlife Week, actually has a whole bunch of actions that people can take. And it includes all sorts of information on how to create a wildlife friendly garden, a butterfly garden that attracts the, the butterflies as well as the native bees and the songbirds and all that good stuff. Peter, any uh, sustainable practices you think we should also be putting into place around like in the areas that we can control around our house? Oh, absolutely. I think if you go on that website and you'll see the kinds of plants that you know will attract certain species, even if it's, it's lizards or butterflies or salamanders, small shrubs will give them cover. A very low to the ground bird bath will create water for them. Water is the essence of life for so many of these species. Um, one of the things that's happening is, especially in California and Florida, we're creating corridors so animals can pass under or pass over busy freeways so they can migrate as they used mm -hmm. to, to find food and to find a mate in some cases. So um, find out what you can do and encourage young people to uh, take action, um, to get involved with preserving wildlife. Uh, go online and find out what you can do at the local level. Just a small thing, maybe, uh, in your yard there in Washington, if there's an old tree that has a cavity, that's a perfect home for an owl. So you don't have to use pesticides, which are harmful to other wildlife. The owl and the young snakes will take care of your rodents for you. Oh, that's really you cool. all are amazing. Yeah. And, and just getting out there, you know, especially this time of year, we want to be outside. I think I'm going to do a it's butterfly garden. It's very inspiring. Garden. David, you have inspired me. <laughs> I will send you a Wonderful. photo, let you know how it's going. <laughs> Please Thank do. You, I love I love getting pictures on social media. 
uh, people's butterfly gardens, their, their native plants and any wildlife you see. And actually that's one other tip I wanna give. Um, Peter and I have done a whole series of videos that are on the National Wildlife Week website, spotlighting some of America's amazing wildlife. And one of our messages is, you know, always treating wildlife with respect and giving it its space because some species are bigger than butterflies. Right. And, you know, there's this trend of people trying to get selfies with big animals. Mm. And, you know, you all seen the videos and, you know, our message is please don't do that. Be safe, mm -hmm. appreciate wildlife from a distance, respect it as wild animals and everyone will, you know, it'll all be good for everyone. Very and that, that's such a great message because so often we've grown up seeing people in close proximity to wildlife and also now a selfie is such a popular thing. What I like to encourage people to do is grab your backpack, grab your bottle of water and take your binoculars. You don't want to get close to them. Enjoy the fact that there's a resurgent, they're coming back. Many of the species are becoming acclimated to people, but enjoy them from a distance through your binoculars. Mm. I love that the whole world out there. It really is. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you so very much for all of this great information. It's so good to see both of you. Happy National Wildlife Week. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. All right, it's time we got to check out yes. National Wildlife Week with uh, Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. They're really encouraging, like inspiring me to do a butterfly garden. Yes, I don't. You know, it's just like I do love seeing. I see a lot of people do those, and yeah. the butterflies help the pollination and everything. Right, so, right. They have me thinking too. I know. <laughs> Stay away from the animals, but appreciate yeah. them.